next guest is a talented actress you know from her work on Stranger Things and Taylor Swift's All Too Well. She stars in The Whale, which is in theaters now. Let's take a look. You can just be angry at me. Okay, you know what? You can't throw me away like I'm a piece of garbage and then suddenly just want to be my dad eight years later. You left me for your boyfriend. It's that simple. And if you've been telling yourself anything different, then you're lying to yourself. But you know what? I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad because you taught me something very important. People are ass Most people learn that way too late. You, you taught me that when I was eight. Please welcome to the show, Sadie Sink, everybody. <laughs> Congratulations on this film. It's receiving uh, tons of accolades, a lot of nominations. It also seems like such an intensely hard film to be an actor in. Did it, was it brutal to sort of find connection to somebody who was so hurt and so angry? I mean, yeah, I guess at first. We had a three week rehearsal period though, so we kind of all took that time to just really dig deeper into these characters and, I don't know, they're very complex. They're very complex. Just to find the anger was important. Um, uh, Brendan Fraser is very complex in this film, but in real life is uh, one of the sweetest people in the world. Were you familiar with Brendan outside this film before you started working on it? No, I wasn't. I hadn't seen a single one of his films. Um, <laughs> I know, but I, I just knew him as this character, which was pretty cool, but then afterwards I was like, okay, I have I have to watch one of his movies. So that's been really crazy because I had no idea he was like a very comedic yeah, actor. Right. It was shocking. Yeah, no, it's crazy to think that when they were casting this movie, they thought we should get George of the Jungle. Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> but it he works. is, he's the funniest, sweetest guy. Mm -hmm. So you, uh, you got your start uh, as a very young actor uh, on Broadway. Uh, you were Annie. How old when you were doing Annie? Uh, 10, I think. Okay. Yeah. There's Very, a, yes. there you are as There's Annie. Annie. That's, I think that's a dead. Oh. Right there, yeah. <laughs> um, and this is pretty cool. You, uh, you were in the audience with Helen Mirren. You played a young Helen Mirren. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's fantastic. Uh-huh. Uh, so how old were you on this one? 12. I okay. think I just turned 13 or something. So yeah. you, you do these huge things and then when it's over, you just go back to being... A kid? Yeah. Yeah. How is it to go from Broadway and I'm sure what is a real adrenaline rush and then going back to just being a kid? Honestly, I was more nervous to like go to school than I was <laughs> to be on stage. But yeah, after I finished that show, I had nothing else lined up. So I was like, okay, it's, it's time to go back to school. And I was homeschooled from like ages nine to 13 and like the curriculum was just very loose. Um, <laughs> so... <laughs> this is sort of the Broadway, yeah, no, necessity that, of Broadway. It was like belting 101 <laughs> and like how to do a time step. Like that was pretty much it. But then, yeah, when I was 13, it was time to go to school. And um, yeah, and so I, I did it. You did it. I and did ultimately, it. it's so funny to think like going, going to high school, it's like, look, it's a lot harder than Broadway. <laughs> yeah, honestly, yeah. It was, I think it was, it was nice to just be around kids my age though. Yeah. I, yeah. Now, is it true that, speaking about uh, being around kids your age, is it true that the Broadway kids that are sort of younger, there's one playground you all would go and hang out at? Yes. So when, do, when would you go to the Broadway playground and was everybody, was it like, the swings, the swings? Yes, yes. <laughs> it was like, on two show days, everyone would, would just go, all the moms would just bring their kids to this park on like 43rd and 8th, I think. Okay. Um, but it didn't look like a normal playground. Like there was always some kind of musical number happening. <laughs> or like they were teaching the choreography to each other and there was clicks and like the Matilda kids were always like much cooler than everybody else. <laughs> um, yeah, and then like if a kid would start like screaming or something, like yelling and playing, then a mom would be like, no honey, like rest your voice. You have a show at eight o'clock. <laughs> Now, your, uh, your parents are educators, yes. both of them. Yes. Did that, was that helpful? I mean, again, uh, you obviously had a very unconventional uh -huh. upbringing, but it must have been helpful to have parents who were teachers. Oh, totally. My dad is a math teacher, and that really came in handy. I had to, when I you know, was 13, going back to school, I had to take a math placement test. 
So then my dad like sat me down in one week and he's like, all right, I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know. And then I went in on Monday and I tested average, so. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I did it. <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're for a normal kid, you're average at math. For a Broadway kid, exceptional. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, uh, Stranger Things, I have to ask about Stranger Things. It must be so cool to be in a show like that that so many people watch. But I'm wondering, do you feel the pressure with that of friends and family who are desperate to know what's gonna happen in the show before it airs? Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm bad and I'll just give my family the scripts. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you, you don't play by the everything needs to be Yeah, embargoed. well, just my, just, you know, like my brothers, if they wanna read it, I'll let them. I, yeah, I think that's okay. But yeah. then, <laughs> they don't tell anyone, but it's, yeah, they're big fans of, of the show, so I mean, obviously. It's funny, gonna... would you wanna know in advance if you were a fan of a show they were in, or would you wanna wait until you saw it on screen? I mean, I, I mean, if you have access to the scripts. You wanna I, get your I hands would, on the script. Yeah, I would. Well, thank you for your honesty, yeah. I really appreciate it. <laughs> you, uh, well, there's five of you, right, siblings? Yeah. And so where are you on the, on the pecking order? I'm, I'm number four. Okay, gotcha. And I have a little sister. And your little sister played a, a younger version of you in The Whale. Yes. So how did this come about? Uh, here you are with her. Uh huh. I mean, I guess it seemed like natural casting when they. Yeah, I mean, she's, yeah, she's a mini me. But did they ask you before they had casting? Were they like, do you have a smaller one of you at home? Yes. I was like, yes, yes, I do. <laughs> what time do you need us? Then, uh, yeah, so Darren had like added the director, he added this um, like flashback sequence where they're at a beach and they needed an eight year old version of me. So they asked for JC. And then, yeah, and then we did it. And she still hasn't seen it yet. Gotcha. Did JC sort of negotiation wide hold them <laughs> over a barrel because she had them? Was she like, now that you've asked, yeah. I'm, I'm the only one that looks like her. Yeah. <laughs> but no, she, she had a lot of fun. She was a little like petty because my entire family went to the premiere and it's like too mature for her. So yes. she stayed at home and she's like, have fun at my movie, guys. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> that is, I mean, whoa, what I wouldn't have given as a kid to be like, have fun at my yeah. premiere. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, you were also in, um, I will admit that I did not, I certainly did not remember that this was you. The Americans uh, is a show I loved a great deal. This Was this your first uh, on, on screen? Yes, that was my first time on a, on a film. And I'm, there you I'm, are, I'm with, a, with a shotgun. So scared. Yeah. I have no clue what I'm doing. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm assuming uh, based on the age you are in this photo, you probably weren't a huge fan of the Americans. I, no, no, I didn't. I honestly had no idea where I was or what I was doing. <laughs> And then I didn't know what the term like rolling meant. Like nobody told me, so I was uh, kind of clueless. But yeah, that was that was my debut. That uh, breaks my heart that you were kind of clueless. They were just like, give that kid a gun. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to look scared, so let's tell her as little yeah. as possible. Just put the gun in her hand. <laughs> um, you, uh, I would imagine, working on something like Stranger Things and working on the whale of very different experiences on set. Mm -hmm. Is that, I'm, especially just because, again, on Stranger Things, you are surrounded by other actors your age. Oh, totally. Other actors my age, but then also like men in like green suits and tennis balls <laughs> on sticks and stuff. Yeah. So it's, you get really used to like working with that. Yeah. Um, I feel like not enough credit is given to people who act with tennis balls on stage. It's hard. It really is hard. It I is. was once on set of a movie where a very famous actor was doing a scene with a tennis ball and a stick mm -hmm. that would later be a monster. And I was just watching it and I was thinking, I shouldn't be here because this is... You feel ridiculous. Of course, too. yeah. This is so, what am, I, what am I doing? What are we doing? Yeah. But it looks good in the end, I guess. Um. <laughs> it does look good in the end. You don't have to guess. It looks good in the end. Okay, but I yeah. want you to know, because when I watch a show like Stranger Things, I'm even more impressed now because I know these creatures aren't there. Yeah. That is like a Wilson tennis ball and a stick, uh -huh. and there's a dude like doing yeah, this. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And I just have a great appreciation for what you're all doing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, tell me, uh, uh, also, you, of course, were uh, in the Taylor Swift uh, mm -hmm. uh, video. It feels more like a video than... Uh, yeah. I call it a video. It seems a little reductive. Um, what was that like? Was that a situation uh, where you auditioned or did you get a phone call? How did it come to be? Yeah, I mean, I was a fan of hers before and then her team... Brendan Fraser should be so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I did. That would be I... great if you were like, I had never heard of her, much like Brendan yeah, Fraser. No. But I went back and I listened to her songs and she is I'm very like, wow, good. Yeah, yeah, she's good. <laughs> but I, I, I did know Taylor Swift. 
And then her team reached out and I guess she had me in mind for this video. And so, I, you know, I said yes, of course, and yeah. Was that, I mean, of all the things that you have been able to tell people, oh, you know, your friends or your family, hey, I'm about to do this, I'm about to do that. Was that the trippiest to sort of reach yes, out? Yes, yeah. because you would never think that our paths would really cross, like someone being in the music industry and then in the film industry, like it just never, it was like two different worlds. Um, so it was kind of like a bizarre mashup, but everyone was, everyone was very excited. Well, uh, she chose very well, as has everybody uh, that has been lucky enough to work oh, with you. It you. is so lovely to have you here. Thanks so much for making the time. <laughs> CD Sync, everybody. The way